you know, Skip and Ralph were playing out front, and it just got to be really funny because you were riding this little car around, and Ralph was just following you around in circles. He eventually pooped out when he realized you were just going to keep right on doing that. And Skipper's walking a little bit better now. He's like old hand at this. Here, Captain Stanley, 101B Ash Street. Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota. I can really move now, Mom. Let me go, Susie. Oh, he's hanging on to me. Another Christmas. Guess what you got? <laughs> it had a cute little spray thing, too. You just thought it was really cool washing your baby, Susan. Well, we were just so homesick, we plopped you in the car and we headed back east. So this is at Levin Jean's house, and that's Kim. And they're rabbits out in the backyard in their house. And that's Jeff, and you were all playing in their house. That's their Levin Jean's house in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. This is down the basement where Sue's birthday party was earlier, and you can see how we fixed it all up into a little game room. Like a little kitchen Susan had. And there's a good old horse. And a toy box that we had bought at Christmas. And new kids collected a lot. I had gotten a new dishwasher that Christmas and that was the box that it came in. <sighs> And you kids cut it out to make a house. I was so glad to get that. You gotta remember, this was the days of cloth diapers. I had two kids. Skipper was a sketch and a half on this birthday. I just don't know. He was so funny trying to blow out his candles. He said, oh, I've got to stand up. I'll get him. Oh, no, it hurt my eyes. How am I going to get these candles? Oh, here, Mom, hold my hat. i got to think about this. Oh, there. Yes, I did it. Hey, hey. I 
I cannot believe that we bought you guns and cowboy hats and stuff like that. Must have been the end thing, because I know you guys sure liked cowboy boots and cowboy stuff. Must have been some TV show or something. Jean sent this cute little mouse and his head wiggled. It was kind of on a spring. Such typical boys' toys. Guns, cowboy hats, and trucks. another Christmas and there is your pregnant mother who is now blonde and we are in Puerto Rico that move happened pretty rapidly so it seemed like one minute we were in Grand Forks and the next minute we had shipped everything moved to Puerto Rico and I was pregnant and it was another Christmas He'd become part of our family in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I guess we just didn't have him in the pictures. There was a paper flowers from Puerto Rico. I thought those were really cool. This is when we first, first moved there. We got a star rug like a lot of people on the floors with these really hard cement. And since we couldn't ship our furniture, we used wood and cement blocks to put our things on. Took a few of our pictures, and other than that, it was their furniture. Moxie, per usual, got his pork chop for Christmas, and he spent all day chewing. Rawhide and pork chops. Puerto Rico and it skips birthday again. Usually that's kind of the way it went, Christmas and birthdays. This was in the backyard in Puerto Rico. I had
had fun that year making that huge cake that looked like a bear. I saw that in a magazine. Well, since it's Skip's third birthday, that means in January, Dawn was born. So Dawn was just about a month old. And inside, so he wasn't present at the party because he was too young, but he was already born. So as I recall, I was running in, trying to take care of the baby and trying to have this party for Skip at the same time. And yes, Dawn used cloth diapers too. I was really stressed because we had no clothesline, no clothes dryer, and I was having a third baby with cloth diapers. Hard for you guys to imagine, but disposable diapers weren't really invented yet. All these kids were kids in the neighborhood. They were Sue's friends and Skip's friends. So that's why there's bigger kids here too. As I recall, somebody cheated on Pin the Tail on the Donkey and Susan was very upset. I'm not sure if it was this kid that is jumping up and down. Here's Daphne. That was Sue's best friend. Lived right across the street. That's what Skiff got for his third birthday was this crazy little truck. This is one of the toys you kids had. They used to love playing. Oh, we were turning on a pretty busy family, all these kids. used to play together pretty good. crazy doll that did aerobics. I think you had every new doll on the market as they came out every year, Susan. We don't have pictures of all of them. I don't know why. I wish we had a picture of your drowsy doll that you love so much. Huh? 
Oh, you boys all love these things. We had these things for years. This is the first year we got them, but they turn out to be a... but I loved you guys. <laughs> Always trying to help Mommy. She got her own little mix master. painted that picture of the Last Supper on the wall. It was on black velvet. Dad really liked to do those oil paint by numbers. He did a really good job. Ah, tap dancing. Both of you wanted to take tap dancing. It was really Susan first, but then Skip wanted a copycat, his sister. And he was only three years old, but they let him have a class too. You better watch out, you better not cry, better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list and checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. As you can tell, Dad's trying to zoom in on you, can't see. Jackie Sorensen was your teacher, and she went on to do jazzercise and became quite famous in Washington, D.C. Now that is Skipper. At the end, there was a boy on each end. That was the first time I made a reversible vest. It took me forever to figure out how to make that red and white striped vest.
there's Donnie in the bathtub. <laughs> I'd given up on that seat and went to doing one baby at a time. It would take me a long time to get you guys all ready for bed. Dad was trying to take pictures of Dawn crawling. We just had too many cubes by this time. It's kept, go kept going, take a picture of me, take a picture of me. Just before Donnie learned how to walk, he was getting around by holding on to furniture.
<laughs> Trying to teach him to wave bye-bye, and all he cared about was the cake. Happy birthday, Nawn. One years old. on second birthday. There's something about blowing candles out on your birthday number two that is a sketch and a half. It's Dennis Nifon, Kathy's older brother that's right here on the right. guys are just dying to help him out and so I finally that's me on the left going well okay let him try one more time and he just wanted some help he was like won't anybody help me
this is Merced, California, many, many years later. It's our last roll of movie film. This is our family room. And the only reason that we took the movie camera out was that Dan had been born and we had no movies of Dan. <laughs> so I said to Dan, we have got to dig it out so that Dan won't be the only one. There he is. Uh, fourth edition. <laughs> I think this is Christmas seventy five. our living room and across the street you could see the Eastlings house out our living room window. Puerto Rico and went to Grusin Air Force Base in Irana and then moved to Merced, California. A lot of that is documented on slides. We stopped taking movies, hi Dan, and started doing slides. So Dan is on the slides. Now you sit still while mommy puts your socks on. Daddy's trying to get a picture of you. Someday you'll care that we have a picture of you. I don't want a picture you sit on. He said, someday you'll want to be on the movies like everybody else. Wave to daddy. Show daddy your bozo clown. <laughs> you can see our backyard out the window in our patio. I had just baked a whole bunch of breads. I used to give them away for Christmas presents. I got a new meat slicer. We were trying to save money, so I would buy the whole bologna and then slice it. And there is our Danny in the bathtub. We have to have every kid in the bathtub. 